Hey everyone, State Representative Maurice West, and today is Thursday, March 30th, and it's 1.24 p.m., and I am on the way home as soon as I upload this video. But I wanted to give you an update for last week, if you don't mind. Um, last week was the deadline to get House bills out of the House to the Senate. So I wanted to share with you the bills that I was able to get out of the House last week. So the first one, House Bill 1197. Um, what this does is raises the threshold for non for profits to get audits from three hundred thousand to five hundred thousand dollars. I'm proud to work with Coach John Guth from the Executive Director of Kinrock on this piece of legislation. The next bill that I'm really excited about is House Bill 1633, the Native American History Bill. For the past year and a half, I had a working group with members of federally recognized tribes. Um, to put this together in a con uh, partnership with Illinois State Board of Education, and we finally got a package together. I want to first thank uh, students from Hadaniga High School in Roscoe uh, for helping to raise awareness in, North in the Northern Illinois region that uh, gave me the uh, idea of having a Native American mascot bill that was uh, that connected me with members of federally recognized tribes to get this instead. So I thank you all as well. My next bill that I want to share with you that I got out the f to the finish line is House Bill 1519, Income Share Agreements. Helping, uh, allowing students to consider income share agreements instead of traditional student loans. And so in ISAs, what we just pretty much did was put regulations on it in the state of Illinois to ensure that um, there's consumer protections if students want to partake. Um, it's only an option to help them get uh, their, their education to the finish line. We found a lot of students who their loans dried up, their eligibility dried up, and they couldn't move forward with their education because they, had mon they didn't have money left. This helps them with that. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, and lastly, House Bill 2471, um, pretty much the Healthy Schools Meals for All Act. In back in COVID days, when it was really prevalent, um, we procured money to ensure that all students uh, ate for free throughout the state. After COVID, after ARPA dollars left, we were no longer uh, able to fund that program the way we did. Right now, there's a federally federal program, and we're just requesting the state to help s school districts that desire to partake in this program helps them to make sure that if they have are eligible for their federal dollars that all students within their school are is able to eat for free great bill really excited about that that's my update so thank you for listening if you need any assistance or any concerns please reach out to me assistance at staterepwest.com 815-987-7433 hope all is well with you and the family talk soon